Alright guys, what's up? How's it going? This is Iron Man here. Uh, this is going to be my ninth application review. I'm um, really excited for this one. I got a lot of great ones for you guys. Um, let's go ahead and get this started. Alright, uh, first off I want to say that um, if you go to Google and you type in my uh, YouTube channel name, Iron Man 333333, you do get my videos posted like on different sites including like AOL video and such um, I don't know who's putting them up there obviously you know I'm not or I wouldn't be saying this but um, whoever's doing it uh, thanks a lot I don't know who's doing it and uh, of course they're not claiming it is theirs it, they are still mine um, but uh, it's cool that they're getting out there whoever's putting them out, up on uh, those different sites and such but um, anyway uh, that's all I wanted to say and just get this started and um, also, go check out my website. I'm starting getting uh, some forms going up and uh, all that good stuff. But uh, just go in, click on Join Here. It's to the right in the tabs. And uh, set in your email, make your username, and then you can uh, mess with it, create your little avatar and signatures and all that, and uh, get it started. But um, yeah, <clears throat> that's enough uh, off topic stuff. Let's go ahead and do this. I got a lot of awesome ones for you guys. Uh, most of these are paid, though. But, um,. The first one I'll show you guys is Koi Pond. Um, I was hesitating on buying this, and I am so glad I did. This thing, this thing rocks. It's insane. Uh, it is 99 cents in the application store. They have done about three different updates, and it is, oh my god, I love this thing. This thing, the colors, first of all, they really pop out at you, and it's like really bright. The sound quality is amazing. The the um the sounds are real and it, I recommend putting your headphones on. That's what they also said in the description. And they called it you know so you can get a better feel of the uh, 3D sounds. Um, basically what this is the koi pond. You can mess with it in a lot of different ways. I basically uh, it's in the entertainment section. It's not a game, but I consider this like a pet simulation kind of deal. Um, basically the sounds are not laggy. What I'm about to show you and it is precise and it's so amazing. Check this out. Whenever you run your finger through it, it uh, does scare the fish away, so you can't scare them. These lily pads in here, you can move around. Everything's, um, you know, interactive. Uh, let's wait for the fish to come back. I scared them. It's kind of mean, but, you know. Uh, you can shake it. I don't know if you heard that. It's a light, like, shaking kind of thing. And food drops, so you can feed them. This is the really cool part. If you keep your finger here long enough and be patient, you don't want to shake it. You don't want to get too many ripples. But just give it a little bit of time. Just give it a second. There it is. You probably can't hear it, but they do nibble. A feature like nibbling your finger. It does make sound and it also vibrates in your hand. I don't know if you heard that. It's a really cool feature. I like that a lot. Uh, that was actually... A text. Um, you can't see the information or the help in the corners. They do fade away to make it a little bit more, uh, you know, uh, a little bit less distractive. But you can bring up the menu, and you have a lot of different features you can work with. You can not only change the color, of course, you can also change it night or day. You can turn off the vibration when the uh, are, uh, fish are nibbling at you. Not only that, but you can change the color of the little pads and how many you want. As well as the fish, you can have a crap load of fish, a few fish, or maybe just you maybe you just want one fish, or you can turn the fish off um, to mess with the water. I guess I don't really know why you would want to do that. They did come out with a lot of um, updates, like I said, so you can change a lot of it more stuff around. You can turn the sounds off, or you can create your own. Well, you can't create your own, but you know there's four different sounds. You have your wind, your birds, your frogs, and your butterflies. And uh, you can mix that up. You have the sound rocker right here, as well as your own. You can drag it down. And there you go. Like I said, this is very, um, just a calming type of um, application. So, you know, it's soothing. You uh, can mess with it. It's interactive, very interactive. You can uh, mess a lot of things around. This is only 99 cents. If you're someone who who likes like calming, soothing things like this, I definitely recommend this for you. If you're someone who's more into games, then I wouldn't really uh, go out and buy this. It is 99 cents. 
it, it stays that way. It's not limited. I don't know if they're going to raise it, you know, just like every application. But um, this is a very fun and interactive thing to do. I bought this a few hours ago, and it is awesome. I love it. But um, I'm already on five minutes here, dang. Um, the next one I'm going to show you guys is Pop-Up. This is really cool to scare your friends who are messing with your phone. This is actually a picture that I brought up now. And basically, if you they want to mess with your phone, it uh, vibrates, makes the noise, and does this. Now, me showing you the video probably doesn't look like it's you know scary or anything. But the first time I did bring it up, I thought I was able to mess with the settings. So I started touching it and stuff, and this popped up, and it did give me a little jump there. So I'm sure anyone you show this to uh, will get jumped because they're not obviously expecting something like this to pop up when they're messing with your phone. This is free. It was 99 cents. I don't know if it's going to stay that way. But after it's done, you click. You can reset the surprise or you can select a different picture. In my camera roll, I have a bunch of different things uh, set with. But um, that's it. Or you can obviously cancel. And, but um, that's cool. It's a cool little feature. It's free. If you didn't want to mess around with that, go ahead and grab it. The first, the next one I'll show you guys is Starlink. This is very, um, I've seen games like this before, but not in the iPhone. There is a lot of different things. You can change the theme. I'm just going to show you guys this first. You have the stars. You have this. Uh, that's kind of homo, so, you know, I didn't set it like that. But um, this does seem kind of sort of like a kid game. You also have fruits, but I keep the stars and stuff. You, you have three different features of gameplay. You have your arcade, your 4x4, and 5x5, and I'm going to show you how to play. I'm going to click on arcade. The bad thing is, or the downfall in a way, is it's timed. Of course, that is part of the feature of making it more challenging, but I wish they had sort of like a free play kind of thing. Basically, the object of this game, you do see the numbers and the stars. You click a star and you drag to another one and it creates a line. That's all you got to do uh, is basically create lines and let's say, okay, this star has a uh, two in it. You want two lines connecting to that, no more than two. You have to have exactly two. And this one, see, um, if you can see it says one and I have two lines to it, that's not going to work out. So you click the star and you drag to their star again and it erases. Uh, basically this is a strategy type puzzle type of thing. You do have four lives and it starts you off with 30 seconds. Once the 30 seconds is over, it'll start your new life. And um, that's all you get throughout the whole game. It does get harder and harder and more challenging. So uh, let's see if I can go ahead and do this. Like this one has zero, so you pretty much can't use that at all. Um, wow, I think I'm already, I think I'm already screwed here. Basically, when you you can clean it if you want to refresh, or you can click done. It'll say oops if you've done it wrong, and basically it'll highlight what was wrong. So the four, obviously, it changes colors, and um, you can uh, try to fix that. But this is a very cool puzzle game. Um, I haven't seen anything like this on the iPhone. It is free. It was ninety nine cents. I don't know if it's gonna stay that way, but. Um, I'll uh, post uh, like I do on all my videos, you know, the ratings and all that good stuff. It is a pretty cool game. Uh, the next one I'll show you guys, I don't know if I'm saying cube, Q orbs, Q orbs, something like that. There is no uh, online scoring. It's pretty much um, just you yourself, no local, anything like that. Basically, this is on a timer, but it is invisible. So that's, I mean, they need to make a timer for this thing. Um, this is 99 cents in the application store. If you can see these things kind of flashing, I don't think you can. That means my time is running out. And there you go, that's game over. You can type in uh, your thing. Of course, I didn't show you anything, but I'm going to show you that right now. And basically, the object of this game, if you didn't already, if you can't already tell, is these are called energy fields, basically just colored uh, bars, and you drag the colored boxes to match the bars. And this is a very fast-paced game, and look at that, I already messed up, typing whatever. Um, I'm going to tell you this right now. If you are, and I know there's not a lot of people that are, I don't even know if any of my subscribers are, but if you are colorblind, I would not get this game. Um, I am, in fact, colorblind, and this game does, it's all right right now, but I'm fixing to show you. It does get hard, and I can't tell between the colors. So, I can tell right now, but um, that's the bad thing. And, um, yeah, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm, I'm making another video of the Galcon in-depth review. I want you to go watch that right after you do this. I'll post it in my little next video thing. And um, that I love that game because it has a colorblind feature. But uh, anyway, staying on topic, uh, let's try to... I'm going to try to do this fast. These ones I can tell. And uh, you'll go to the next level and the colors will change. And you try to get your high score. Very fast, intense gameplay. Uh, kind of unique. I don't think I've seen... I, I mean, I have, I guess, thought about stuff like this, but... Maybe I have in the past. Basically, uh, here, you'll watch it change automatically. And, uh, wow, there it goes. Um, 
I'm having trouble right now, if you can't already tell. And there it is. I am When the colors change, uh, I don't know what's going on. So basically, my highest score is 770. If you can beat that, <laughs> if you can't beat that, then why, you just got beat by a colorblind dude. But um, this is a very good game. I would recommend it if, you know, you just want to play something really fast and uh, uh, give time away. But um, um, that's going to be it for this video. I actually had more, but I kind of ran into this. I gave you, what, three applications? Yeah, three applications in this video, but I didn't want to run uh, too long. But um, no, I did want to... Uh, yeah, I give you four applications. Eh, sorry, my bad. But I do have some great ones. I have about 18 in all to show you. So, um, uh, check out my website. I'll put a bunch of stuff in the description. So, click on more info. Um, I'm also going to make a video. Galcon in-depth review. Please go check that out.